Yeah. I mentioned I mentioned a little underground temple we've got. Sure. Um, an artifact was taken from there. We have reason to believe that it was taken from uh, this here. Well, somebody from this here township took it. All right. So um, let's head down to the sewers. All right. Let's ask around, nice and casual. See if anyone's got that pole. I, I, poli could... I politely take our leave from the chul and say we'll be. We're on it. We're on it. We'll be right back. Give us 24 hours. Swear to God, we'll be back with a gigantic football-sized pearl. Well, right, we'll lead, lead the way then, yeah. I guess. All right, Let's go I lead get everyone. Sewer great open, or however you get in the sewers. Yeah. I don't know. If you tell I lead me. everyone to the sewer entrance, yep. and I follow the um, the thieves' signs on the wall, which I can read. You look for the thieves' signs. Let's let's be honest right. about this. I look for the thieves' signs on the wall. As uh, wisdom perception, we'll call it a fifteen because you know they're thieves' signs. They're only meant to be they're meant to be quite well hidden, even to thieves. Let's see what we got here. That is oh, <laughs> a three no. uh, plus seven. That's Ten. 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 <laughs> Guys, it's dark in here. I can't oh. see. Is that a thief's sign? You said you knew the way no, to wait. the sewer market. Yes, yeah, sewer. This is you just a sewer. You seemed very confident before we got into the sewer. I felt bad. like it would have been clearly marked by the thieves who want people to come to their thieves market yeah. in thieves' sign for thieves to read, but apparently not. Uh, well, why don't we just sort of wander aimlessly through the sewers? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all split up. Does your fish friend? Yeah. <laughs> Who you brought along have any idea where this secret market is? No, One, why would? Why would? Because he's an evil monster who probably lives in. The, I mean, he's a. Why wouldn't he have gone person? there? Why would the fish person know? Firstly, his name is Iron. Please address him as okay. such. Two, uh, I lift Iron uh, out the back of the papoose yeah. and I mush up his little fishy chops and I say, Iron. Uh, can you get the smell of human? I point him at Corazon and fish it. with their notoriously good sense of smell. <laughs> In a sewer, notoriously bad smelling. Yeah. But go on. And Iron does a little fishy sniff, like his little gill-like nostrils are twitching adorably. Do fish even have nostrils? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they don't. Get the scent, Iron. Go. And then I drop Iron in the sewage. You sort of start to bring Iron over to Corazon. He kind of is looking up at you like. <laughs> and then, do fish have nostrils? I mean, they can just... they can detect a drop of blood in the whole sea or something. So yeah. yes. Okay. He's they sort of go. like there's a weird snuffling. Like, oh, and whose side are you on? Dog, can you get this <laughs> thing off me? <laughs> <laughs> Dog, Dog Coruscant, actually, you have to let you have to let him finish, or it's bad for his confidence. Yeah. He's drib <laughs> he's dribbling on my new coat. It's old. Um, and then he sort of like is like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Iron's got the scent. Okay, is that Iron. what that means? So yeah. <laughs> lead us, lead us to the thieves' market. Bloosh. He basically just like face blinds. <laughs> <laughs> and sort of gets up, looks mildly hurt, and starts walking. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone <laughs> on Iron. Follow Iron. Okay. Let's see. We're doing signs. Okay, Iron. Doesn't lead you through too much raw sewage. Obviously, <laughs> too much is relative given that you are in the sewer. So none comment. of you smells great. Egbert, you are feeling far more confident about your place in the party. Egbert, can I have, yeah. a, can I have a piggyback over this? <laughs> <laughs> These are no, very expensive yep. boots. You were mean about it when I covered myself in wee. And eventually you do emerge into sort of like, um, it's just sort of a place where a whole bunch of different tunnels from the sewer meet and it's been turned into a sort of ramshackle market, which is actually, like, surprisingly big. Like, you, you wouldn't think that Tanner's Folly had such an extensive sewer system. Um, and indeed, a town of this size ordinarily wouldn't, but then, of course, they get through a lot of urine, so... <laughs> hence. Um, so, yeah, you, you emerge into sort of like a... It's a circular um, area sort of lit by a sort of little bit of light coming through from a grating above ground, um, but they're also just, like, torches in sort of like cobbled together sconces and all that kind of stuff mm. and there are lots of people some people have little like sort of fold out tables most people have just spread a coat on the, the floor and they're sort of lounging there next to their wares i fold out my table and start selling meryl wins meat grinder t-shirts <laughs> <laughs> business is booming actually yeah. i just rolled a 19. yes um it turns out the folk tale of meryl wins meat grinder is spreading so people start buying quite a few mm. Uh, people are still asking after don't be a dob shirt. Yeah, we got those on back order. So oh. if you check back um, later in the week, we'll have those in. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Nice, Great. I'll put you down for oh, payment up front, of course. So. Mm, this will walk away. Oh. 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 
Oh, it's like that small businessman of the year award you were looking for. It's like there's no honour among thieves. <laughs> <laughs> I should make a saying about that. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, we'd scout around, we go, go shopping, basically. Okay, is there anything you're looking for shopping. in particular? Big enormous pearls, pearls, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Big enormous pearls. So, uh, Fishy yeah. looking artefacts. Have a look for um, like a jewellery store, something like that. Uh-huh. Uh, so walk up to the store, uh, talk to the store owner and I say, uh, I'm really in the market for a massive pearl. You got anything Yeah, like we're that? in the market for a massive pearl. Yeah, a massive pearl we're looking for. Oh, massive. massive. It's got to be massive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, massive pearls. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, don't worry about it. Throws back a blanket and there's a clutch of absolutely massive pearls. Oh. And then you hear a voice go, go absolutely massive pearls. Yeah, Gov. Um, and someone opens the lid on the box. It's like, absolutely massive mm. pearls here. Someone down the way goes, was that absolutely massive pearls? Mine are shinier and cheaper than theirs are. Um, and pretty soon, uh, I think everyone is. Let's just say that people have twigged that you aren't all natural-born thieves, oh. and that maybe they can make a quick buck off you. Because oh, everyone is asking you to hold a different pearl. Like, this oh, we one, don't like absolutely enormous, mate. Uh, I lean into one of the stall holders, and uh, in thieves' cant, I say to them, "Gosh, look at these rubes! What a bunch of absolute idiots! They don't even know about the real good pearl that <laughs> someone's selling here, do they?" <laughs> My good fellow, why are you travelling with them if they're such rubes? Well, I'm shaking them down, aren't I, dear boy? Right. There's a classic shaken vac oh, you're playing <laughs> manoeuvre. You're playing the long con. No, yeah, of course, yes, it's the most fun. I hope you say nice it's things charming. about us. Right. It's absolutely delightful. But what's really all this great. about one true pearl that's being sold? Oh, did you, you, not, you not heard about this? It, no. It, it was stolen from the fish people, the giant enormous pearl. I thought you'd have heard about it, being maybe you're not as good a thief as the rest of them. Hold on, stolen from... I mean, firstly, you'll mind your toe, but secondly, um, stolen from the fish people. Yes, you know. Who were the fish people? You've never heard of the fish, you gosh. <laughs> like this guy. Get a load of this guy, I, I shout in Thieves' Cant. Doesn't even know about the fish people and the giant pearl. <laughs> we okay. don't understand the language, but we get the roll context me, clues. Roll That'll me charisma. Yeah. You know what, that might actually be charisma performance. I'm going to call this a 15 again, because okay. you're on sort of his turf. So, yeah, charisma performance if you've got it, but I don't think you do. Is that... Is that a 20? An unknowable number. Yes, I believe that's a 20. Yay! Quick, 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 quick. This performance must be amazing. The rest of you sort of, uh, you don't really understand what's being said, but the whole room sort of like bursts into laughter. Really, and you can tell it's derisive. (laughs) 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 Oh, I see. (laughs) Would you stop that, please? You're a very charismatic person, I don't deny that. And obviously it's a a fish eat fish world down here, so people would be quite happy to to make fun of me. The, The drop of a hat, as has been clearly demonstrated, but still, doesn't mean I know anything about a, a one true genuine pearl. If what you're trying to tell me is that you want an actual pearl and not just sort of a ball that's been painted with a pearlescent paint, not that I'm saying that's what mine are. Well, no, of course. Do well, you think that would fool the fish people? <laughs> <laughs> then you want to talk to Katie. Katie? Yes. Where Kate, would I find Katie? Well, she's not been here the last two night markets. I don't really understand why. Oh. Okay. Well, do you know where she could usually be found when she's not at the night market? Well, she's a thief, so mm, it's mm. difficult to say. But listen, her name's... I really shouldn't be telling you this, especially since the whole room appears to be watching. Know, Thanks am, again for that, by I the way. I very charismatic person. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget. <laughs> Roll me charisma for the <laughs> We'll call this a five. Okay, that is a four plus a seven. <laughs> Great. I mean... Yeah, yeah, all right then. Um, listen, her name's her name's Kate Delacour. She specialises in, in antiquities, uh, a lot of nautical stuff, because you know seaside town tourist trade. Um, she, she, I don't know where she's gone. I mean, you could check out some of her old haunts. Um, she tends to drink in the um, uh, Roger. Yeah. Yes. What's the pub Katie drinks in? A twisted harpoon! Twisted harpoon. Twisted there you harpoon. go. The twisted harpoon. You might try there. And while you're here, 
since you've made fun of me and everything, how's about you buy something from my stall? Or at least convince one of your roots to Oh, go on then. What have you got? Is it all, is it all rocks painted per lessons? Uh, balls. No, I mean, uh, they're, all por- they're all pearls. Genuine, sure, sorry, yes, massive genuine, pearls. massive pearls. Um, you could take some... Uh, I've got a lot of pocket watches. Not all of them have blood on them. Right, sure, yes, I'll take a t- pocket watch. How much? Uh, ooh. Um, those rusks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, two, two rusks. Two, two rusks. rusks. Okay. Yeah. Right. Corazon. Yes. I mean, yes. He hands over a, a pocket watch. That, while you're buying things, is it worth us buying a <laughs> massive fake pearl just in case we need to do an old switcheroo? Love okay. it. I love the idea. Mm-hmm. That's a great idea. You got any massive fake pearls as well? Will one gold bar massive be enough? Massive fake pearls! <laughs> the, the, um... <laughs> 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 you get... Like, the loads of people just throw them at you. Oh. You are, for, like, covered now up to the chest in fake pearls. Bar. Should we ask the fish what looks most like their pearl? Iron, which of the... We, there's no double crossing going to happen here. <laughs> but, like, just hypothetically, so we have a good idea, which of these roughly matches? This one, please. <laughs> uh, a match, you hear, like, a... Oh go up from a lot of the room as one merchant comes forward and is like, hey, hey, I knew that that was the best pearl in the room. That's why I threw it at you. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you so much. This has been so rewarding. Uh, here's a gold bar. Thank you so oh, much. Gold bar. Oh. Jesus Christ. He Sorry. Uh, two gold bars. <laughs> no, should have done it. No, it was I tackled up to the ground. <laughs> well, uh, if that business is concluded, he leaves the room and on the way just kicks over his cup. He's clearly <laughs> never coming back. Do you guys mind getting the tip? <laughs> you get the tip of this dagger if you don't stop giving money away. He sort of he sort of stays at the exit. He's like, yeah. oh, I'm not getting the tip. Um, he leaves. <laughs> Uh, Guys, I got a great deal on this sweet fake pearl. Uh, oh, God. This merchant, so the merchant leaves, uh, clearly intending to retire. About 30 seconds later, he's followed by about <laughs> <laughs> sharpening their half the room and their cudgels. Um, and I think, yeah, sensing perhaps that you've upset the natural order of things enough, mm. perhaps you want to leave Guys, the piss room yes. to us? To the Twisted grab- Harpoon! Yeah. Twisted Harpoon, right. okay. harpoon. You don't know that. No, yes. we, d- we Let don't. Me just, right. Guys, where are we going? Well, no, I heard the pub name. I mean, the pub it name is, isn't in Thieves' Canon. Yeah, but there's no... Yeah, it's the in pub's code. Name, the pub's name. Of course it's in code. How would people listening, they might know where I was going. No, it wasn't. Yeah, like, blah, 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 blah. Twisted Harpoon. Yeah. I don't know that's a name. Like when you hear a Japanese developer talking in Japanese and then going, Pokemon Gold and Silver. Exactly. I insist on being decontaminated as a group by Dob. Yes. Okay. As we leave the sewer. As we step out of the sewage, I cast Prestidigitation on everyone. Thank you. And everyone feels now smell is clean and smells faintly of cinnamon and festive spices. Ah, lovely. Kind of like gingerbread. Mm. Very nice. All right. All right, Twisted Harpoon, let's go. Good. Uh, It doesn't take you long to find the Twisted Harpoon. It's um, it's a pretty run-down tavern. It's full of piratical types and ne'er do wells. Uh, needless to say, it appeals to uh, certainly you, Corathon, this probably you as well, Prudence. So you're like, yeah, I'm into this place. And, and no one had to put on a disguise to get in, which is just perfect. So, uh, as you walk in, lots of people sort of drinking um, in corners, sort of a few people sort of watch you come in. You are a pretty odd looking party after all. I mean, smell amazing compared to everyone. But you do smell there. amazing, actually. Lots of people are like, oh, who are the nice smelling strangers <laughs> that have just walked into the bar? There is one person who very pointedly is not looking. Um, it's a sort of a, a figure, she's fairly, well, it's, it's, it's a woman, wearing sort of like boiled leather armor. And she's there just holding a cup in front of her face with a, uh, like a just a leather like wine whatever they're called like the big leather covered wine bottles is absolutely enormous just wine there skin. yeah wine skin but one of the ones that stands up on its own i don't okay. know why this is so important <laughs> um she's drinking basically she's drinking with intent like she's <laughs> she's getting a little bit uncoordinated you feel like maybe she's had a few now <laughs> she's knocking stuff over the bar but no one seems to be taking much interest she's sort of just there just having a drink and staring off into space. Uh, you, Katie Delical. Who's asking? I'm a, I'm a Pearlman. <laughs> a Ron Pearlman. <laughs> <laughs> That's my name. 
<laughs> Ron Perlman. You may have heard of me. Perlman Brothers Pearls. Can't say I have Ron, but uh, it's nice to make your acquaintance nonetheless. I'm a pretty big deal in the Pearl, pearl world. Yeah. And I heard you were the uh, woman to come to talk to about pearls. Yeah. Uh, looking for some new stock for the, uh, the old winter festival. You know, they're flying off the shelves and I need some really exquisite pieces. You know what I'm talking about. All the stuff around here is just uh, balls painted a uh, lesson, but I need the real thing. I've got some discerning clients. She turns on her stool and as she does in a very deft movement, she pulls a knife and presses it just on the inside of your leg. I think it's going uh, well over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you that? So I was down in the in the market, trying to uh, trying to find some pearls. All the stuff down there was rubbish, and they, uh, right. they they told me if I wanted the real stuff, I should come to you. And who was careless enough to give you my actual name? Uh, I didn't get their name. They um, <laughs> they were sort of thief looking, jerking, uh, mm -hmm. bodkin. <laughs> um, those. What? Curly shoes. Uh -huh. um, he sell a lot of watches. Oh yeah, yeah, I got this off him. This watch. Yeah, I know the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he'll be dead by tomorrow. She turns back to her, her cup of wine. Excuse me. Happy about it. Um, <laughs> listen, uh, Ron, I don't know what you heard, but you don't want to mess with me, and you definitely don't want to be messing with any giant pearl I may or may not have in my possession, all right? Well, I'm willing to pay top dollar. How much? Well, <laughs> <laughs> We look to our cheap haggler. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of, at this point, sort of looks at <laughs> the people hovering at a polite distance, and it's like... <sighs> she gets the bottle and drags herself off to a corner booth, and is like... Good job, dog. <laughs> come on then. All right, come on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. So, um, name your price. I'll be more than willing to pay it. I can, I can get whatever I want from uh, my clients. They're rich and stupid. You know the way. Are you talking about us? No. Shush. Oh. <laughs> my buyers are lovely. These are them. I won't sell for less than eighteen bars. I mean, I don't have that kind of money on me right now, but I can go and get it. It's in a... Joel, how much are you, are you carrying? 19. You're carrying 19? Gold bars, yeah. Oh, okay, well then I guess we do have it on us. <laughs> no, on you the planet. <laughs> <laughs> but did you leave them in the wagon out back? Oh, um, yeah. That was I've, careless. I, yeah, sorry. Outside I left, a thief pub. Yeah, I've got one here. Oh, yeah, you of course. You see, look no, at it, no. look how... Mm. Look at it for evidence, yeah. and the rest sure. are in the wagon. Out. Let her bite heavy. it to check that it's real gold. Would you like to bite it, Katie? <laughs> Just to check it's real gold. She takes it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The real deal, deal, right? She sits it down in front of her. Well, that's one. Now, as a show of good faith, we'd like to see the pearl, just to make sure we're not going to get robbed once we give you the money. Mm. No, I don't think that's how this is going to work. Listen, this thing is worth so much more. I've got some weird cultists down the coast. They're willing to pay 60. 60 thing. gold bars? Yeah. Are there that many gold bars in the world? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I hope <laughs> I'll so. take you away from it. No further I'm using that <laughs> gold bars in a friggin' lake. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the only reason I'm offering it to you is uh, quick sale. So. I'm not looking to get mugged. So you either bring me the gold, or you don't. How do we even know you have a pearl, Katie? Why would I be entertaining this ridiculous notion of you just swanning in and taking it? <sighs> All right, we'll go out to the cart and, and get it. Okay, yeah. 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 We'll go, yeah, let's go to the cart and get it. One of us should stay here to make sure that Katie doesn't make off with the one gold bar that we've left. All right, Egbert. I feel like Keep I can effectively busy. block the entire booth just by standing at the end of the booth. Yeah, you can. That's where you've been standing this whole time. Yeah, right. <laughs> you've just not been able to get Guys, in let's, there. let's go and get the let's gold Let's go get bar. the rest of the gold. Yeah, easy. Gold. Gold. Nothing easier. Yes, Corazon. Minor illusion. Oh, that's way less violent than my plan. That was <laughs> 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 wait, 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 let's hear the job out. How violent are we talking? Well, 
It's just an option, right. not my first. Yeah. Minor yeah. illusion sounds good. Yeah. I was thinking we I could use heat metal to melt the gold bar in Katie's hands so oh. her hands are gold melted to the table. All over her face and hands and... <laughs> Jesus Christ! Look, I just, it just occurred to me as an option, I, a last resort. I love it. I love it more. It's a last... I so mean though. Tell me about minor illusion. Maybe it's very I, mean. Minor illusion, we can make 17 copies of the gold bar and then give her a short lasting 18 gold bars. I think that sounds like a good. Let's try that. Are they going to last long enough for her to get the pearl? The pearls should presumably not on her person. Yeah. I think to myself because everyone else has left. Might be. Oh, yeah. you, I mean, you're standing there. <laughs> you're watching her. She doesn't look like she's got an absolutely gargantuan pearl on her. No. <laughs> a jumper. How long do we reckon we can dis fool someone into have, thinking they've it is got a minor something? illusion? Um, so let's melt the gold on her face. She sort of leans in. It's like, listen. Do they really have eighteen? Oh, yeah, I mean, well... Because I, I need rid of this thing, mate. Yeah. But I can't, I can't just flog it for nothing. Right. It's, uh, uh, there's something wrong with this pearl, mate. Uh, Bad news. Yeah, mm. my crew's not doing so well. Okay. Two of them fallen down the stairs. One of them's been taking six with the flux. Um, and it's all been since we took this pearl. There's not, there's something not great about it. Yeah. I, I think I might be next. So... Right. I really want to sell this, actually. That's... But... I mean, you, you're looking to offload it. And really, we, we can probably sort that out but okay. um yeah it, it just feels like is there anything else you can tell us about the the circumstances in which you came to get the pearl i nicked it didn't i yeah but where from look i go diving a lot it started out as a hobby but it turns out there's a lot of stuff down there that you can flog for, right. for quite a lot of money because it's actually genuine <laughs> tell you what if you can show us the pearl we might be able to lift that curse we've got a real mix of abilities here and if we can just lift the curse then we're all good, aren't we? You're fine. You know, your your crew might get better. Just give her a gold. You said they're really, really ill. Give her a gold bar and yeah. take it. So if we uh, take a look, just show us the pearl, right? We'll all go together. We'll sort out the gold bars. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I want to see the, the bars they walk in with before I take you anywhere. All right. Okay. Well, we can show you them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The but gold, like, really, the, the whole giving them giving the gold bars before the, we see the pearl is fine. is not really on, is it? So they kind of push the door open. I'm assuming they're sort of coming back in. Yeah. She's like. Yeah, yeah, oh no, you and me. Cool. Right, dog, cast minor illusion. She can't touch it or look at it for longer than a minute. So, okay. I've got it, I've got it. I'm, it's in a box, right? We're gonna open it, show her, close the box. Yeah? Yep. All right, works for me. Um, the only thing is, I don't know how to cast minor illusion. I can cast Wait. I don't know if I ever mentioned that or something, but... Okay, so well, I just, can cast my oh, Good, okay. Oh. <laughs> I just thought you oh, could. Boy. And I was trying to encourage you. It was your you. idea, Corazon. I was trying to encourage Dob. Oh. He doesn't need any more encouragement. <laughs> right, I cast Minor Illusion okay. on the one gold bar to make it 18 gold She's bars. She's got the one gold bar. She's got... What stuff? We didn't take it back off her? No. I have another gold She's bar. She's got it in front of her. You've got another gold bar? Yeah. You did say you had two. All right. Yeah, yeah fine. All right. I'm going to allow this. <laughs> I cast minor illusion on one gold bar <laughs> to make it look like 17 gold bars. Okay. In a, I, in I a affect a walk like it's so heavy. So, walk up. I'm like, right. Yeah? 17 gold bars. See that? Snap it shut quick. Now, you can have them when we see the pearl. And I, I look at that and go, <laughs> You're right, Egbert. Make, make me a, uh, <laughs> a, it's a charisma check. charisma persuasion roll. I'm gonna call be, uh, gonna call this a five because that was a pretty good mime. <laughs> but I want you to feel like you've earned this. Uh, six <laughs> plus two, five. eight. Whew, okay, <laughs> she's like. She gets up, she brings the bottle with her, kind of like skulks out of the place. I pick up the other gold bar from the table as well because she's got the bottle. Just help her carry that. Fine. <laughs> hey, she grabbed the bottle first. She yeah, didn't grab the gold yeah, bar first. Yeah, okay, fine. She leads you um, through some twisting alleyways uh, and then she leads you sort of to a back staircase that leads to sort of a, a small room above a shop, basically. Um, it's a really low down, like, it's just a really grimy mm -hmm. hovel, basically. 
And she opens the door. It's like, come in, make yourselves at home. And there's just start like... brewing coffee. <laughs> I curl up by the fire. It's a lovely hovel you've got here. <laughs> <laughs> this place place is is really there is a wood burner and there is like a little like cafetier type cafetier, like, you know, mm. coffee, coffee yeah. maker. Um, apart from that, there is like, she, she just sleeps like in the corner under a dirty like blanket. Um, Gross. She goes, I heard that. No, 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 I said grossly lavish in here, ain't it? Will be once I'm rich. Now turn around all of you. You're not gonna move. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said, Square turn around all of you. Right. <laughs> um, you hear the telltale sound of a floorboard being prized up and then replaced. I know that sound. <clears throat> and then you turn back round and she's standing there with a very large pearl. <laughs> Right, money, hand it over. Cool. Here's the box. Whoa, 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 no. whoa, 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 whoa. Iron. Give it a sniff. <laughs> what? what? You... The. She's like. Oh. I'm sorry. You got into business with some dangerous people. Merowins, meat grinder, etc. Now let my little fishy pal here have a sniff of the pearl. Thank you not to make fun of my son's appearance. <laughs> <laughs> she holds it steady and his like iron's face comes into contact. Like he gets closer, he gives it one sniff and then just starts rubbing his head on it. Aww, Aww. Iron. Iron. It's legit, guys. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I run my finger along it. And... Yeah, it's pure. Sweet. Pure pearl. Pure, pure pearl. pearl. All right. And I, I, I lean over to Corazon and go, the old switch. All right, here's here's the box with the gold in it. Just give me the. All right, pleasure doing business with you. No, Cheers. don't open the don't open the box. We've got to be going. Yeah, we anyway, uh, guys, we've got to be going. Guys, cheese it. Adios. <laughs> <laughs> she throws the presumably empty box down mm. on the floor, uh, and pulls like a brace of pistols. <laughs> I immediately hide with the pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Are you cheesing it or? Uh, I. What, yeah, I, what do you reckon? Should we, can we sleep her? Um, I, uh, uh, take the fake pearl, <laughs> I take the fake pearl that we bought and I heft it in her direction and shout. While you're on the head, I, with the fake pearl. And shout, yeah, yeah, like Mysterio's helmet. <laughs> boom, like that, and shout, cheese it! <laughs> okay! <laughs> uh, I guess that's a strength check to deck her with a giant fake pearl. <laughs> Could you and I just roll for initiative, actually? Okay. Of us. Nothing good ever comes of this. I say, really, when we bought the fake pearl, I thought we were going to have a plan with a bit more finesse. <laughs> Sorry, I. Smash on the head. So did we all. Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen plus okay. uh, plus That's five. five. It's fine. You do get to go first. Sweet. I'm okay. just going to try and shoot you, but. I just figured that would be a decent yeah, at the start. Nice try. Shoot dog, indeed. All right. <laughs> um, pearl goes wham on the head. Whoosh. Okay. Cheese it. So that is a, like I say, a strength check. Draw me a strength. Um, try and beat a 14. What's that, Meryl, when? That is an 18. Yes! Yay! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine Wait. it's just like a sort of papier mache <laughs> thing. I imagine, so the head goes I imagine inside this, it. Yeah, I imagine this is like a vision occluding thing. Okay, roll me a d6 then. Okay. That's a regular dice. Yep. One. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you don't really knock her out so much as you just put her head inside a giant fake pearl. Yeah. And, goes, <laughs> and she's just blundering around Old Katie now. Pearl Head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, they're going to be calling her that in tatters <laughs> up and down the oh, town now. That's adorable. It's better um, than Old Egbert Piss Trousers. <laughs> Now, to be fair, wow. no one that one time. No, no one said that yet, Egbert, and now it's going to stick. Yeah. You coined that, Egbert. Not sure that they're going to be making merch. Uh, no, no, that's well. going to be a popular <laughs> oh, So, I assume you're having this conversation as you, you cheese, cheese it. it. Uh, you're hearing sort of a, a, an aquatic <laughs> snickering in your ear. What? Like, oh, I am. I take line under his little chin. As we, run, as we run out the door, I like wedge a chair under the handle. Yep. To try and prevent us being followed. Okay, that's fine. I think it's going to take her a while to get out, just to extricate herself from the massive fake pearl. <laughs> so it sounded like, from what she was saying, that this pearl is pretty cursed. Probably don't want to hang on to it for too long over today. We, I think we should try and really understand what's going on with this pearl before we make a decision what to do with it. I mean, it's. I want to decode it. It's or... It was theirs, and it's cursed. I mean, those are two good reasons to not hang on to it. I think we should unwrap its mysteries. 
But this is the, the mystery one time you is don't that we all die coming curse. into the sea. Yeah. I d the mystery is we all get cursed. If I know anything about pirates, yeah. is that cursed pearls mm. generally not a good idea. Mm. So, I mean, our what? options are give this back to the crab folk, yeah. which doesn't really feel like they're going to get their comeuppance for all of the kidnapping and the mean stuff. Mm. They will stop the kidnapping. Well, yeah, but like Sell it back to them. Mm. Then they'll kidnap us. What? Then what we'll kill them. I'll get kidnapped. I think we ought to poke around this underwater temple though, just have a look, right? I want to go I want to see the underwater temple. I mean, the underwater see. temple would be cool. We'll, we'll offer to hand deliver it to the crab people. In fact, yeah, we didn't that's even... where they are. I mean, how are we going to find them? Yeah, we didn't organise ocean. a meeting spot. So let's let's run to the ocean, sprint fully towards the I mean, the ocean's docks. pretty big. Do we know where this <laughs> underwater temple is? Or well, do you want to just that, let's take plunge headfirst into the ocean? Let's take the chul with us. He's hanging out by the... Iron truck lodge. Yeah, Iron will know. Iron knows. Of course Iron will know. I didn't want to keep him. He's paying for himself. Oh, yeah. Right. Iron, buddy... I got to be honest with you. I love you, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know yet what we're going to do with this pearl. I hope that you've had a wonderful time adventuring with us and I hope you've seen that there's a better way than senseless kidnap and mean acts of meanness. I just we I just want to be upfront with you man that we don't know what's going to happen once we get to that underwater temple. We don't know how smoothly things are going to go and we don't know what we're going to do with the pearl. I hope that you're with us to the end, buddy. All right, not It's like a fishy done, shrug. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Nice, Iron's on board. Iron's oh. on the team. Oh, sweet. All right, Iron, lead on. Take us to the underwater temple. Wait, how are we going to breathe underwater? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, sort of, he's sort of standing there like... Every few metres, Iron will give us all a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> of life. All right. <laughs> no. Iron's on. <laughs> Let's put it in the maybe pile. <laughs> Does, any, does anyone, plan. all of you magic weirdos, have yeah. you got anything like that can... What can you make Marwen? a Marwen? She's got Surely magic. you've got some you a bubble or something? Yeah. Or? Right. Hang on, guys. What? Guys, Marwen got something. Right. Firstly, yeah. I've got animal friendship. We all know how good that one is. <laughs> yes, you've mentioned. I've also got uh, beast sense. If I touch an animal, I can see and feel all their senses. So I can basically embody another animal. Right. If you want to get in the papoose, I'm sure Dob will let you. Like, you don't have to sense it from iron. <laughs> There's room. <laughs> How, but this doesn't help us get underwater, right? I've also got create or destroy water. I can only do ah. 30 foot squared Ow. at a time. Um, well, if the temple's 30 foot out, we're sorted. <laughs> sorted, yeah. If it's in the bay, yeah. we're fine. <laughs> Guys, notice, though. Mm. let's construct a diving bell out of an upturned rowing boat. And so we can weight it down with gold bars. <laughs> <laughs> we can trap some oxygen underneath and sink it down to the bottom of the ocean. Uh -huh. And then iron will lead us. Okay. I'm down. Yeah. In fact, yeah, yeah I've, uh, I've done this a few times before when exploring shipwrecks. So I'm proficient in it. Merowyn can ask some fish to help the directions. Us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We've come this far. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I think a fishy propulsion system is is. They could pull the diving bell down okay. for us. So uh, the rest of you rig up a rowing boat diving bell. I really hope where we go, there's oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> well, if not, I can get rid of some water around us, and then that's yeah. it. She's just constantly destroying a thirty-foot cube. <laughs> <laughs> the whole ocean's around gone. <laughs> yeah. I love it. The planet dies. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so you right. uh, you need to prepare for this ritual. Mm -hmm. You all need to procure a rowing boat. All right, there's a rowing boat. Let's look around, maybe on the beach. Yeah. Look over an old oh, rowing boat. No, I see any rowing boats on the beach? Someone's left. There you go. Look around. Yeah, go on. Do me, do me an investigation roll. All right. Uh, in terms Corazon, of you're a boat person. Pull it's it a down. polite term for a boat. Uh, that's a nine. Yeah, fishy, fishy, yeah. Fishy. Yeah, well, that's a bunch of numbers. <laughs> Cool, oh, great. Yes. Of okay, you find one. It's pretty ramshackle. Like it's not. It, it wouldn't be your first choice, but it's convenient and it's quick. Tar it up. This um, bad boy can hold so much oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's get down there. Okay, right. so you drag it over. Meryl when is doing. Stuff. She's trying to reach out for a good fish. A good fish. Yep. Uh, anything in particular? Something quite big. Mm -hmm. um, Tuna. Yeah, man, manta ray or a shark, something of that kind of family. Yeah, go on then. You get you get a few like a few 
sharks that kind of turn up and they're like, hey guys. So they keep swimming, otherwise they'll yeah. die. Yeah, 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 they're yeah. They're yeah, yeah. <laughs> sort of just going in circles. Cool, cool. You think they're listening. Okay, right, guys. Um, I'm going to need you to help guide us down to there's an underwater temple down there. Have you have you seen anything like built by people from the land, maybe? or? Fish Eldritch people. fish people. Uh, oui, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oui. Are you French? French. <laughs> French. Uh, I do not know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, what? Is it is a spider shark? tiger? Oh, a spider yeah, tiger shark. Yeah. <laughs> tu es très beau. Oh, it's David. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you mind? Do you mind if I uh, I look through your eyes? As you <laughs> <laughs> it sounds weird. But uh, it, it's, it's honestly, it's honestly. Your eye. No, it's fine. <laughs> you uh, won't even know that I'm there. I have one request. Is, yes. Uh, if I have to roll my eyes back into my head, yeah. then you don't look. Okay, no, it's no, that's just fine for, for me. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> that's fine. I understand then boundaries. After, yeah. after maybe we can uh, eat your friend's fishy. Um, I would fishy say not. <laughs> <laughs> um, but seeing as he can't understand me right now, um, if he. That there's every chance that he what? might not be on our side. What? I'll give you a heads up and uh, send him your okay. way. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. Right. So I mm. theatrically slap the roof of the diving bell. It's done. It's ready to go. Cool. Cool. So nice. be sense with the little shark. I like him, the little mm. French shark. I wait down the edges of the yeah. uh, upturned boat yep. with mm. the last of our gold bars. No mm. rocks from this beach. <laughs> They're free. Gold Literally is the heaviest. Anything else? All right, with rocks. Thank I remove you. the gold bars <laughs> and replace them with rocks. Yeah, gold bars. No. Yeah, gold bars. Our fabulous diving bell is ready. <laughs> so, uh, are you mad about all my secret stuff? You all position yourselves under the diving I, bell. Everyone, take a breath. <gasps> no. No, it's going to be. Well, I mean, it's is this just to get underneath and yeah. inside it? Yeah, but we don't yeah. want to like, start using yeah. oh, right. there until we need to. So I think we're walking down the, the beach with it over our heads. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that better, actually. It's like proceeding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you walk into... Wade the, into the sea. You wade into the sea. <laughs> What will the Oxventure heroes discover under the sea? Can Corazon really hold his breath for 45 minutes, as he claims? Is life truly better down where it's wetter? Find out now in episode 4 of A Fishmas Carol, streaming now over on Outside Xbox sister channel, Outside Extra.